literally like two minutes away. Um, so the place we're going is only 10 minutes from Disney, which is really, really good, really convenient. And yeah, so we are going to get them done. Phil thinks that we get them done and then we don't have to wait for our results. We can literally just go and then they email um, our, resu our results to us, which will be really awesome. Um, yeah, so we're just about to get that done and then we are heading off to Universal for the day. So this looks like it's the testing place here. So on the email it said it's behind a mini golf place, which is just over there. There's like a little volcano thing. And it's over by a Dunkin' Donuts. So it looks pretty small. There's not much of a wait or anything. So hopefully we can be in and out in a jiffy. This is it here. And it looks super quick and easy. I think you literally just get in line, show the QR code on your phone, pop over here get tested and I'm pretty sure that's it so let's see how easy this is so we just in our COVID test that was super super easy so easy yeah really really easy really quick so we literally had QR for, um, codes on our phone from booking it the other day literally walk up to the little um, what do you call that thing trailer. Van thing yeah trailer show them your QR code confirm your date of birth they pass you over um, the COVID test and then you literally walk over to the little tent that you can see and there's two ladies there behind plexiglass and then all you do is just do the test so you swab both of your nostrils pop it in the tube swirl it around shake the tube up and then drop it off on the other side of the trailer and that's literally it so everything's got codes and barcodes on it so it's all linked back to us we take photos of it as well just yeah. in case we took photos yeah just to make sure probably don't need to they've got an email address and a phone number on the window as well so we took a photo of that just in case and then it says on the sign three to four hour wait so what time is it now about quarter past ten quarter past ten yeah quarter past ten so 11 12 one quarter past two half two we'll say um hopefully we'll find out by half two that we've got the all clear and we're okay to fly home super easy so as long as this goes smoothly i 100 percent recommend so we're at universal plan of action where are we going first uh, you don't want to go velocity so say probably hulk <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go to Island of Adventure first. Wait, that's yeah, Island of Adventure first because they've got all the like big coasters and stuff. So we want to make sure we get done. Velocicoaster, Hulk. What else? Hagrid's. Hagrid's. Is that everything in that park? Yeah. Pretty much, I think. That no. What's the Harry Potter one in that park? Uh, the. Three dots. Quidditch. Quidditch. Oh, do we want to do that? 3D one, sure. If it's a short wait, we'll do that. If not, we won't. Then it'll be studios for Born, Up, Born Ultimatum. Stun Spectacular. Stuntacular. Um, what else is over there? The Hogwarts Express. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Hogwarts Express. We want to get Hogwarts Express over. So, and then to do Born, Mummy. Uh, Maybe Jurassic Park. Oh, that's on this side, isn't it? Oh, what? The, the drop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll do that one as well here over this side. Is that it over in the, on the other side? Studios? I don't want to do Rip Ride Rocket because I don't want to hurt my head today. Yeah. Oh, but there's loads of people in blue t shirts. Oh, please don't say it's like a school holiday day. We did that before one day at Universal. It was like some kind of school day, and there were so many different schools in like matching t shirts. It was so busy. Fingers crossed, not today. So we've just seen this line, um, virtual line sign for Hagrid's. So I'm wondering if it's quite a busy day in the park today because we've not seen that since we've been here. Yeah, that's slightly worrying. So Phil's just um, doing it now. So fingers crossed we can get a virtual queue line before kind of two o'clock because that's when we're looking to leave. We are headed straight over to Velocicoaster now. Have you looked at any of the wait times? Say how to do it. Yeah, did you scan the QR code? Typical Philly. Doesn't read what he's supposed to do. Um, yeah, so he's going to go scan that QR code and hopefully get into the virtual queue line. But like I said, we're hoping to leave by two, so I don't know. Fingers crossed we can get one, but oh well, at least we have ridden it this trip. So we're going to head over to Velocicoaster now. Don't know what the wait time is on that, so I'm going to have to get Phil to check all the wait times on that app and see if it's a busy day. Hopefully the wait time is not too bad. It seems super busy today. Um, we've seen a lot of like school kids with matching t-shirts on, so we're wondering, because it's a Friday today, it's what, the 11th? 10th, 11th? We're wondering whether it's like their last day of school and everyone's going on a school trip, so potentially busy day for us today, but 
Oh well, it's kind of like an extra day for us anyway, so as long as we get a couple rides in, it won't be too bad. But hopefully we'll get on this, I'm so excited, it's so much fun. Just a 35 minute line for Jurassic Park, so we're jumping on in. Phil's been trying to get on the virtual queue for Hagrid, and it's just come up saying it's temporarily unavailable. So I don't know whether that means the ride is down or whether they're just having problems with the app, I'm not sure. But so at the moment, we're not able to get on Hagrid, but fingers crossed we can get on it at some point today. So we'll have to keep trying on the app because I really want to ride it. So they've got posters of all the different raptors. So you've got Blue, Echo, Delta, and Charlie. This is the queue line. This is such a cool queue line. I'm pretty sure I showed it before, but you've got um, raptors, like as you get through just before the lockers. We just got off at Velocicoaster and we decided to front row it and I'm so glad that we did. It was unreal. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Literally, like we would go around and my eyes were just streaming. But it was so so good. So if you love roller coasters, 100 percent go front row. It was amazing. I don't even think it was a 35 minute wait either. So probably like 20 minutes. Yeah. Woo! So out of breath. <laughs> um, and we also got our COVID results back. And we are both negative! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, awkward. <laughs> We're both negative. <laughs> um, so it's super easy. We got, um, well, it was like an hour and hour and a half, I think we got our results back in. So that's cool. We get a PDF to download and then... I think we upload to the Verify app. Yes, yeah, so we just upload it to the Verify app, but we also get to like the link to log in and show it on the website as well. Oh my God, it's so bright, I can't even see. Um, whew, I'm so pumped. <laughs> right, we are now gonna go straight on to um, River Adventure, um, have a little bit of a chill before the drop and get soaked, then probably over to, uh, I guess so, Hulk, then Forbidden Journey, then Hogwarts Express. We just got off Jurassic Park River Adventure and we got pretty wet. We were on the back row, so we didn't think we'd get that wet, but no, nope, we got soaked. So and I didn't want to get my hair wet because I'm not washing it again because the water pressure at our hotel has been horrendous. So it's been so difficult for me to wash my hair. So now I'm gonna have awful hair for the next two days. Um, we are now in like the Marvel section and we are gonna jump straight on the Hulk because I think it's only like 10, 15 minute wait which is amazing and then still can't reserve it still can't get on to the virtual queue line for Hagrid which is really frustrating and the same with the money, mummy as well so I don't know if it's the app I don't know if it's just so busy that they're all taken um, so it's a little bit annoying that we can't get on Hagrid but at least we have done it this trip so we can't complain too much and obviously we've been on Vel Velocicoaster quite a few times and that's literally the best ride in this park so yeah, at least we've done that and we can always go back if we want to because it's, for some reason it seems to be a really short wait. I don't know if it's not that popular. Oh, there's Storm. Storm and a Wolverine over there. Yeah, so the Velocicoaster never seems to have very much of a wait. Don't know whether it's because it's just not popular or because it just manages to get through so many people. I think it's just been pretty efficient. Yeah, possibly it's just a very efficient ride, who knows. But so we're now about to jump on the Hulk, which is Phil's favourite ride, I think you said still, even after Velocicoaster. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Phil can't decide. Not after front row. <laughs> yeah, after front row on Velocicoaster, I think Philly's given up on the Hulk now as his favourite. But this is such a good ride. For ever, I think it was our favourite, and now it's just been overtaken by a Velocicoaster. Or well, to be fair, no, I think Velocicoaster's number one, second is Hagrid, and then third, I would say, is this one. Yeah, maybe. Is it just about to come out? We're not jumping in the queue yet because we haven't seen one, uh, what do you call it, ride car go around at all. So I don't know if it's gone down or not. Don't say that. We need to ride it. So I've seen Velocicoaster seven times, is that? Yeah. I mean, I don't mind. Just walking 
walking through Zeus Landing and they've got a little show going on. Look at the cat in the hat! because we want to take the train over to Universal Studios so we can do the last couple of rides over there that we want to do. On the way we have to walk past Velocicoaster and Phil is desperate to ride it again. One more time. I really do want to but I don't think we've got the time. There's always time. <laughs> we, we're on a, a strict time scale because obviously we've got the very merry after hours tonight so we need to get back to the room to get ready so we can get to Magic Kingdom. And as everybody knows, Magic Kingdom is an absolute nightmare of a park to get to. It always takes forever, um, at least for us anyway. Um, I don't know, we'll probably end up on Velocicoaster, so yeah. <laughs> Just found a Universal Duck. Yeah, he's been Cute! He literally just doesn't care. I've been left behind. Phil's had to run off, so he asked a lady about the Hagrid's virtual queue, so he's been taken into a shop. Oh my God, I'm not showing you anything. Right, he's been taken into this gift shop here to try and figure out what's going on with the virtual queue. So, fingers crossed we can maybe get on it. And um, the lady didn't really know anything about it, so she's come to figure it out. Anything? Temporarily disabled. So there's a... I guess the ride's down. Oh, the ride's down, so we can't even get in the thingy queue. Ah, ride's down, so that's a shame, but at least that's... I don't know, I feel better about that rather than, like, not being able to get in the queue. So, what are we doing? I guess we're going to the Oh, let's have a look and see what the wait time is first. got off at Velocicosa for the second time. We front rode it again and we both did it with no hands this time and it's literally insane. I can't even explain to you how freaking amazing it is. It's so good. It's terrifying but in such an amazing way. Did you tell him you no hands now? Yeah! <laughs> Phil is so proud of me. I didn't think I was going to do it but I did it and the whole way, whole way around. The whole, <laughs> the whole way around I was screaming, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! It was so good. It was amazing. Um, so we're just going through. Oh, you can see both. Yeah, you can see the Velocicoaster and um, what's that one? The Hulk. Let's see if they come round. Oh, I was waving at everybody on the bridges as well. <laughs> oh, it's so fast. It's so good. Anyway, so we are now heading. Oh, we are now heading um, through into Hogsmeade just here behind us um, into Hogsmeade just have a quick look and then we are gonna jump on the what's it called? Hogwarts Express. Hogwarts Express so we haven't done that yet this trip so we need to make sure we do it because that is absolutely amazing um, I imagine Hogsmeade is gonna be absolutely rammed the park is super busy today although to be fair the wait times aren't that bad um, but yeah it's definitely rammed there's a lot of school trips I think at the moment <gasps> that snowman is sick oh, I didn't see him last time is he a Gryffindor snowman? Oh my god, it's literally rammed. And guys, it's so hot today. It's the hottest it's been for the whole two weeks of our trip. Hopefully you can see Hogsmeade and all its beautiful festive decorations. It looks so cool. busy and it is hot. Three broomsticks over there. Gilly water. Honey dukes. Oh my god it is busy. Uh, people going into Hagrid's. Do you reckon? It's time to head on into Hogsmeade Station and ride the Hogwarts Express. Um, the wait time is, where is it? 35 minutes, it's not too bad. Um, we've definitely waited a lot longer 
to ride this before so this is technically like a ride slash attraction but it also takes you over to Universal Studios so if you ever come here just be aware that you are leaving the park and go into the other park so if you ever get in the queue just make sure you have your ticket to get into the other park we're getting close I think that was a huge wait I don't think that was 30 minutes what do you think it was 45 minutes so far it was so hot down there it was unreal didn't have any of the fans on there was no air con but what five minutes away hopefully next train next train fingers crossed guys Here it is, the Hogwarts Express! You ready to go to Hogwarts guys? I definitely am. I'm so ready to get on that train. Thank you! And we're boarding! And if you take the ride from King's Cross to Hogsmeade, you can actually walk through the platform nine and three quarters, which we did last time. If I can find a picture of it, I'll pop it in, because I know we took a picture, but it was forever ago and it was so cool. But we're here in King's Cross station and this is now taking us over to Universal Studios. So we're heading straight over to the Bourne Stunt Spectacular, Stunt-tacular. Um, it's three o'clock dead on and it's literally just started but it does have a pre-show that lasts for like 10 minutes so as long as they keep the pre-show doors open we should be able to get on it um, it's literally the only ride left that we want to do other than the mummy but I think the mummy is down um, or all of the virtual queue lines have gone for the mummy so this is all we have left to do and then we're gonna leave so fingers crossed we get on it um, because we need to start heading back because it's so much later than we planned. It's 3 o'clock. It starts at 3.30. Oh, it starts at 3.30. What are we going to do? Do you want to wait around for it? Oh, oh God. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> we are so late. We were supposed to leave at 2 and it's now 3. And we haven't had lunch. I'm absolutely starving. I'm so hungry. You even get a Richter burger again. And then, that and took forever, though. Let's see what the queue is like. Yeah, we could do. Okay, we're gonna have a look and see what the queue's like in the bag place. Um, oh, that's ruined our plans. I don't know what we're gonna do now. Maybe we should have checked. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, food was really quick this time, which was good. Uh, we need to decide if we are going to Born Stunt Spectacular. Born Stunt Spectacular. What flavour is this? So we're doing do. Uh, we got the impossible burgers, no, beyond burgers again. They're so yummy. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Indiana Jones, it's like 
I don't even know what to say. It's like insane. So yeah, go watch it if you're ever here. It's, it's crazy good. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna eat lunch and then we will probably see you again after one. minute wait and it was literally only a 10 minute wait thank god uh, it was so good i always forget that there's like a drop right at the end and i screamed and my throat's already hurting from velocicosa so it's like super hurting now we are finally headed out of the park what time is it four exactly four o'clock we were supposed to leave it to but never mind um we got most of the good rides done. I'm a little bit gutted that we didn't get to do Hagrid's. At least we did them at some point in the trip anyway, so. Oh, this is such a long day, I'm knackered. Very Magic Kingdom too. I know, we've got a whole evening at Magic Kingdom. So we are in the car, finally leaving Universal. It's quarter past, 20 past four. So we're an hour and, no, two hours and 20 minutes later than we planned to leave, we wanted to leave at two. We are now on the way back to, to the hotel because we have the very merry after party at, no, not, I keep saying party, the very merry after hours event tonight at Magic Kingdom, which I cannot wait for. We are literally knackered, but um, that's a good thing because we need to be knackered because we're traveling home tomorrow and we need to sleep on the plane all day. We've had an amazing time at Universal, so this was our last day here and it's been so much fun. Yeah. Um, Velocicoaster, honestly, out of this world. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Ride it 100%. It is just so good. Like, I don't even know what to say about it. Just that have, good. Just you just have to go on it. It's have just to awesome. Have to go front row. Evening, everyone. Evening. So we are all ready for the Christmas party. I'm a Christmas outfit. <laughs> yeah, it feels very Christmassy. Um, I keep calling it a party. It's not a party, it's the after hours event. So, in true us fashion, we are running late. We wanted to leave by, really, we wanted to leave at five. Like it's now quarter past six. Um, That's Universal's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Officially, the party doesn't uh, party the event. The after hours event doesn't start until eight. So we're event. fine, but we just wanted to get there early because really we just wanted to make the most out of um, our evening in the Magic Kingdom. But it doesn't matter. We are on our way to enjoy the after hours event. Um, I'm super excited. I can't wait. I know there's actually a proper parade as well. Um, so I think I'm looking forward most to that. What about you, babe? Everything. Everything. To be honest, we don't actually really know. Oh, we don't actually really know much about it because it was such a last minute decision. So we don't really know. So we're just looking forward to happens. being at Disney after hours. So we'll see you guys inside of Magic Kingdom. We just picked up our after hours map inside Magic Kingdom. And um, so we're just having a look now, trying to decide <laughs> I'm, just saying, I'm just looking at the screen. <laughs> um, we're trying to decide what we are doing for the evening, so let's have a look. They have snickerdoodle cookies and hot cocoa, so I'm guessing that's kind of like a treat stop. 
um, holiday merchandise, magic shop locations, character sightings, so I'm guessing that means all the characters are going to be in their holiday um, outfits, reindeer wranglers which I believe are like dancers and maybe music and stuff. Club Tinsel, which I guess is the dance party. Mickey and Minnie's Very Merry Memories. Uh, Mickey's Once Upon a Time Christmas Time Parade. So apparently that is on at two different times, 9.45 and midnight, I heard. So we'll probably just catch the one at midnight because it should be quieter. And then Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Firework Show viewing. I don't think we're really too fussed about doing any rides or anything. So we want to do all of the Christmas stuff that's available. So definitely need to find out what that Mickey and Minnie's Very Merry Memories thing is. Um, definitely want to look at all the holiday merchandise because there's a little bit of room left in our suitcase. Um, and then obviously, well, what is Snickerdoodles? Is it like peanuts? We'll have to try the Snickerdoodle cookies. However, when I've seen the Christmas parties in the past, the lines are not always really, really long. So I don't want to waste loads of time in line, but we'll have to at least try and make one stop there. Um, and then the character sightings 100% I have got to see Mickey in his Christmas gear because he looks so cute um, so that is a must as well and then obviously the fireworks at the end of the night so Woo, I'm excited uh, we got our after hour event um, wristbands so you have to get those can you see it you have to get those to um, come into the park for the Christmas party and then obviously they'll check all that if you're going to any of the Christmas stops or anything so Yes, we are super excited and can't wait! So I don't think you guys can see me, but we've just come to the back of the castle, so I'll turn you guys around. The fireworks, the normal fireworks show is just starting, and apparently it's kind of good to watch it from the back of the castle, so we thought we'd try that because we've never done it before. Woo! Oh, that is loud! <laughs> it's not normally that loud! <laughs> yeah, it's loud from at the back! <laughs> is crackers yeah, it's insane it's literally crazy it's so loud it keeps scaring me even though I know it's coming and it feels really dangerous but it's awesome and I keep pointing the wrong way so yeah. you're not gonna see any power. So this is right over by the Tangled bathroom. So if you know, you know. These are literally the best bathrooms in the Magic Kingdom. And then this is where they do the photo op with the lantern. I don't know if you can see it there. So we're just about to get that done. And if it turns out really good, we'll pop it in now. I just wanted to show you guys the difference in crowd level. So this is Fantasyland, which is usually always absolutely round. And you can literally, you can see the floor. You can actually see the floor. The floor is right. Let me show you. Like never ever is fantasy land like this. Crazy. Like no queue at all for Small World. Peter Pan is, does it have a wait time? Did it say 30? That's not a 30 minute wait. So we just found our first treat stop. So we got our Mickey bars. And then we're gonna get some popcorn and some drinks. We just found a ticket and poo. We just picked up our first special treat. So we've got the peppermint bark uh, frappe. Looks so good with a little mini bow on the top. And then we've got the gingerbread almond cake bark. <gasps> it looks so yummy. Right, you have that first. That's good. Is it? Oh, that's so good. Mm. And then cake pop. You try it because. Oh, smell it. Have you smelled it? I don't. I like gingerbread, but I don't like almond. Mm. 
Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Wait, no, I can't taste any almonds. Just ginger beverage. Taste it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we're hopefully gonna get one looking up Main Street because it looks so cool. <laughs> and now the ground is so slippery so all that's left for us to do is the last castle show of the day so we're just heading up to the castle now to hopefully get a really good spot so many people have just left it's crazy literally it was like a swarm of people because we are right down the bottom of main street um but yeah so hopefully up by the castle should be really quiet fingers crossed so we're gonna go get a good spot to film it for you guys oh boy that was fun <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. We're missing Donald. Where'd he go? <gasps> oh, Donald, you found him! Come on in, everybody. Feliz Navidad, amigos. Juan Luigi. Feliz Navidad. absolutely amazing so thank you all for watching our journey I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope we've been a little bit helpful for anybody who wants to travel from the UK to the uh, to the US anytime soon and yeah thank you all for watching so much and we'll see you all again soon bye, bye guys